for this particular truck I will be using brass knuckles from SSD as well as brass rear axle weights from SSD Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to look at adding some weight to the Element Enduro. This right here came as the Enduro Sendero RTR. Uh, the Enduro chassis overall is pretty lightweight. The RTR also came with plastic beadlock wheels, which also contributes to being light. The one issue with these being plastic is that there isn't enough weight in the front of the truck to gain traction at times to utilize that overdrive. One of the ways that you can remedy the, uh, the lightweight wheels is to get aftermarket wheels. Uh, and here I've been using these beadlock wheels which are a little bit heavier than these plastic beadlock wheels. Although I have started using these wheels that, and these wheels have given it a little bit more weight up in front there still isn't enough weight up in front to give me traction in certain situations. For this particular truck, I will be using brass knuckles from SSD as well as brass rear axle weights from SSD. I will be putting a link to these SSD brass knuckles and rear axle weights in the description below. Another option for adding weight is to use brass wheel hubs and these are brass wheel hubs from Club 5 Racing. I will put a link to these in the description below. In this case I will not be using this for the RTR, I will be saving these for the Enduro Builders Kit. Let's take a look at what comes with the SSD brass knuckles. These are very nice. Bearings and hardware. Now these SSD brass knuckles are the same on both sides, so you can put it either right or left. You'll need to reuse the inside bearing. The outside bearing will come with the SSD brass knuckle. Make sure you don't tighten it too much or else you'll bind the uh, steering. In 
using the SSD brass knuckle kit. The longer screw is for the king pin and the shorter screw is for the behind the axle tie rod bracket. In this case, you probably want to use some Loctite. And here we've got one knuckle installed. You want to check in here to make sure none of the kingpin screws protruded too much and uh, so that they don't interfere with the axle. And in this case, they didn't. Let's go ahead and move on to the other side. And that pretty much does it for the front brass knuckles from SSD. Now we'll move on to the rear. Once again, these are the brass rear axle weights for the Enduro by SSD. look quality piece of material from SSD
take a quick look at it. move on to the other side That about does it. We're all done with adding the rear brass axle weights as well as the front brass knuckles. Can't wait to go out and give it a try on the rocks. Uh, we'll definitely post a video when I do. And hopefully these will do what I need them to do. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for updates.